Hello everyone, how are you doing? Let's play some ukulele. Yeah, I haven't played it for a long time. So from now on every week, we're gonna have one video a week and we're gonna go through the tunes that we already know. We're also gonna learn about new instruments as well. Like this thing here, if you've never seen that before, we're gonna learn about that today. And it's weird looking, what does it look like and all that sort of stuff. Where's it from, what's it called, all that sort of stuff. So maybe you could do us a favor, get your notes, but also maybe get a pen and paper as well. Cause we're gonna learn about all these uh, different instruments, okay? So, and we're also going to sing a lot of songs that we already know, but um, and we also might learn a new melody as well, hopefully. But we'll see what we can do first. So, get your notes out and let's just go through a couple of chords first. Can you remember your C chord? I really hope you can. That doesn't sound in tune, does it? Give me a C chord after four, everybody, yeah? Now, below me, what I'm sitting on, uh, you probably know already what I'm sitting on, but I'm sitting on my cajon. So, I'll be able to play that while we're, we're strumming today, okay? So... I'll go through the chords with you real quick. Maybe we should play four beats behind first. Okay, so now you've got your notes and everything like that. Oh, also, if you do, can't tune your ukulele, um, look below in the description of this video and there's a link to show you how to tune your ukulele. But hopefully you've seen it already. Okay, so let's do a bit of four beats behind. Let's go. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, if that's your first time your parents have ever seen you do that, they probably think you're sounding or making weird noises and doing little games like that. Maybe you could teach them how to play that. Um, so four beats behind is done. I might try and do a couple of chord warm-ups now. Okay, so get your plectrum if you have it. Make sure your ukulele's in tune and give me a C chord after four. So, yes, we're in tune. Give me a C chord. One, two, three, four. C major seven, middle finger second fret. Two, three, four. C seven, first fret. One, two, three, four. C six, let go. One, two, three, four. A minor, next middle finger. Two, three, four. And an F, add the index finger on the first fret. Three, four. And uh, C major 7, middle finger, 2nd fret, 2, 3, 4. C9, 1, 2, 3, 4. And C major 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Give me 4 C9s, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 C major 7s, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, quick, C, 1, 2, 3, 4. C major 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. C7, 1, 2, 3, 4. C6, 1, 2, 3, 4. A minor, 1, 2, 3, 4. F, 1, 2, 3, 4. C major 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. C9, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, stop there, hold everything. Look at me. That's your C major 7, and there, that is your C9. Now, once you get this pointy finger and put it here on the second fret of the C string, like that. Now it'll be very hard first, but that chord is called a G and it sounds like this. Now you're probably gonna sound like this. And that's okay, that's what I was like for the first little while. So let's get it right. Where are we putting that finger? C major seven, middle finger, ring finger here, and then pointy finger, this part of the pointy finger. It's a permanent marker, it's never gonna come off. There, join the two dots. That's your G chord, and that's the first thing. Now, some of you have learned that in first year, some of you haven't. So, today we're going to learn how to do that, okay? So, go through that, pause the video, and try and get to your G. That's a G chord. Three fingers. It's tough. And it will sound a bit like that today, but that's okay. Okay, so pause the video, practice that, and then we're going to go through some exercises, like, okay? You ready? Okay, so give me C major 7, nice and slow. One... Make sure you're using your middle finger on the second fret. Make sure that that thumb is at the back here like that. See that, that kind of helps because you're kind of pushing in here with your thumb, but you're also pushing in like that with your middle finger. So you're kind of squeezing the two, between the two, squeezing with the thumb, 
and then squeeze them with that finger. Okay, so give me a quick blast of that, please. One, two, so C major seven, just once. One, two, three, four. And now give me C9. One, two, three, four. Back to C major seven. One, two, three, four. C9. One, two, three, four. Now give me a G, add that index finger on the second fret. Give me G, two, three, four. Very good, back to C major seven. One, two, three, four. C9. One, two, three, four. And a G. One, two, three, four. Back to C9. One, two, three, four. And G. One, two, three, four. C9. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. Four C9s. One, two, three, four. Four Gs. One, two, three, four. Nice. Okay, so try and get that into your head for the next couple of weeks because that G chord is really important, okay? Now it's tough, but you will get used to it. Of course you will. I hope you like my blue ukulele, my blue ukulele. Now, give me some more chords, but I'm going to play the Kahan. The Kahan, remember, I'm going to sound like a drum kit here. That sounds cool, doesn't it? Okay, it's been a long time since I've seen you guys, so... Let's play some chords. Just give me a C after four. Four, just four strums behind. Give me one C. And if you're finding this too easy, maybe strum four times. So instead of going like C, you can go C, 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 C. Okay, so give me a C chord. One, two, three, four. Nice. A minor. One, two, three, four. And F. One, two, three, four. Give me four Cs. One, two, three, four. Good. Four A minors. One, two, three, four. Okay, give me four C's, four C major sevens, four C sevens, four C sixes. One, two, three, four. C, C, C. Major seven. C seven. C six. Finish on a C right now. Yes. Four C's, four C major sevens, four C sevens, four C sixes. Four A minors, four F's. Then what? Finish on a C. So that's four C's, four C major sevens, four C sevens, four C sixes, four A minors, four F's, finish on a C. Go. One, two, three, four, C, C, C. Major seven. C seven. Keep going. C six. A minor now. A minor. Now F. F. Finish on a C right now. Very good. Okay, give me four C's, four C major sevens, four C sixes, four A minors, four F's. Four Fs, four C major sevens, four C nines, and four Gs. That's really hard. I'm not gonna have to write that out for you guys. I don't know. Can you see that even back here? Can you see that if I write out really big? C nine. Too faint. I might be able to write it on a piece of paper though, and you can take a little picture. If you need to, if you don't, just skip the next twenty seconds because that's basically all I'm writing out is just C C major seven. So it's what C. C major seven, C seven, C six, A minor, F, C major seven, C nine, and say G. That's the new chord, remember we just done there. We'll do eight Gs and then finish on a single C and usually put in a big circle to finish. So can you see that? So be C C C C C major seven major seven major seven major seven major seven C seven. Say it along with me. It sounds stupid. One two three. Say it aloud. C C C C C major seven major seven major seven major seven C seven C seven C seven C six C six C six C six. Say minor 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 minor. F F F. C major seven major seven major seven. C nine C nine C nine C nine. G G G G G G G G. Finish. Fantastic. Okay, let's give it a blast. You ready? One, two, I'm just gonna play the cajon. The bass is the boom, boom, and the snare is the ta, ah, that th. So, strum. One, two, three, four, C, C. Major seven. Seven. Six. A minor. F. C seven. 
G's. G, 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 G. Finish on a C right now. That's really good. If you got through that, you're probably in the top 50% anyway in the class. So don't tell anyone else because you know you make them jealous, but you're definitely getting there, okay? Now, let's go through one or two tunes. Now, if you've got any requests for any other tunes, I might try and do some silly tunes over the next couple of weeks before we finish up at the end of the year. Now, I will be doing one lesson up until the end of June anyway, and maybe into July as well, just to keep you going because you'd be a bit bored otherwise. So what we'll do is, can we just go for the first, oh, the green, green, red, mayo. Now, as you're at home, you can do better than you used to do. If you are finding the green, red, and mayo easy, Now I'll show you that really quickly. Now you can go back, remember this is the beauty about YouTube, you can just rewind. It goes like this. Three, five, seven, 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 eight, seven, five. Oh, no, that's wrong. Three, five, seven, 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 eight, seven, three. Then it's three, 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 oh, three. I would use my thumb and go like that. Try and use three different fingers. Do it again. Something like that. Try and figure it out for yourselves. Okay, now just the first verse of this. So if you're at home and you're just going, oh, the green and red and mayo, I can see it still. You can do the four, oh, the green and red and mayo, I can see it still. It's Let's go one, two, three. Oh, the green and red and mayo. I can see it still. It's soft and craggy bottomlands. It's all majestic hills where the ocean kisses Ireland and the waves caress its shore. something else how about we try something like um budapest or something like that or yeah budapest then counted stars wake me up there's loads of them we'll go budapest first now now again i'm just gonna fly through this but this is the melody three three like are you the we know that yeah three 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 one oh if you want now you can play that you can go you say you Ooh, I do it all. You can do the two, or you can just do the strumming of chords, or you can do the melody. Now, you, when you know it goes, my house in Budapest, my... I'm going to show you that real quick. So get your pen and paper out if you want to write it down, but it goes like this. So that's 3-3 three, three there. So see my thumb is here, it's on the E string. 3-3-0. Three, 3-3-0. Three, oh. three, three, oh. Try that with me after four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. One, two, three, four. Last time. One, two, three, four. Now, watch me. Three, three, oh, one, oh. That's three, three, oh, one, oh. Say that out loud before you play it. Three, three, oh, one, oh. And again, one, two, three, four. Three, three, oh, one, oh. Okay. Okay, pause it, rewind, and let's practice together. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Brilliant. Last time, one, two, three, four. Now, up a string with this thing, this thumb, up to here, and this middle finger goes up to two. 
Just go two O after four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, look at these three fingers. I'm using three different fingers throughout. I'm going ring, ring, zero, pointy finger. So that's three, three, oh, one, oh. And then the middle finger is already jumping up here, ready to go. Look. Look at that middle finger. There it goes. So, you need to practice that. So it's three, three, oh, one, oh, two, oh. And that two, oh, we jump up to the C string. So I'm gonna play it once, and then you can pause and try and figure it out. It's a hard one. It looks easy because I'm playing, but I've been playing it a long time, guys. So this is a very hard melody. So the first part goes like that. I'll play part two. This is part one and part two. So part two is the same part as part one. It's just halved. So it's three, three, oh, one, oh, two, oh, three, three, oh, three, oh, one, sorry, yeah. So it goes, now, 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 that might be very difficult. Some of you don't have to do that, it's okay. You just strum the chords to Budapest. Let's do the chords now, or let's do the verse. Now, before we do the verse, we'll do the intro, so it'll just be. So I'll strum the C and you can go the. So, watch it goes, it'll be wheel strum C, and the melody players can play it. Then start again. And then we start singing, okay? So, I'm going to play the melody and the chorus together. You can play one or the other, or both. It depends on your level, okay? And just be ready to sing as well, because I forget the words. I apologize. I'm sure you're not the only one who forgot the words. One. So here's the intro. One, two, three, four. Very good, good effort. Even though I can't hear you. Okay, now we're singing. Go. My house in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest. Golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo. Struck with the C, C, F, F, strum stop, C. That strum stop is the strum itself is on a C9 or a C major 7, or if you're feeling very, very difficult, G. So it's C, C, F, F, strum stop, C. So practice that for the next time. Okay, that's really good. Okay, let's do the 
let's take a little break from the ukulele. Okay, so if you have your pen and paper, I'd just like to introduce you to this new instrument. This instrument is, okay, I'll give you a couple of seconds to guess where it's from. First of all, which continent is it from? It's not from Antarctica. And it's not from, where is that? Have you ever seen that? Maybe ask your parents, have they ever seen something like that? Where would it be? What continent would it be? Continent isn't a country, by the way. It's like a lot of countries together. So like Africa is a continent or Europe is a continent or America is a continent, North America, and then there's South America as well. And there's Asia and there's Australia. I think it's Australia. Australia isn't one, is it? Maybe you should ask your teacher that. Okay, so now, five, four, three, two, one. This is from a continent called South America and it's a country beginning with P. So if you know this, uh, well done, a country beginning with P in South America. If you, first of all, if you come up with the two of them, well done, because there is two of them in it. Sounds cool, doesn't it? It's like a ukulele with a massive head. This <laughs> isn't it really. So, how many strings does this instrument have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it should have 10. It's just that I broke a string, broke that string there. See, there's no string attached to it. It's broke this one. See? There's no string, there should be a string right there, but there isn't. So, this is from a country called Peru, if you've got that right, well done. And this is called a charanga. So charanga, so say charanga, 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 charanga. Now, the cool thing about this instrument, the charanga, is that it kind of sounds a bit like a ukulele. It kind of looks like a ukulele, just with a big head and lots of strings, a fat neck as well. So, now, if you think about this instrument, what cool, what's cool about it is for you guys is that like, if you think that this string is your top string, like your G, the two of them together is G, the next two is C, the next one down is E, the next one down is A, and the next one is E as well. But forget about this one. Forget about the high one. Now, so say if you were on the first fret, second fret, third fret, and remember, we're forgetting about all these two strings down here. If we strum that, that's like our C chord. Do you understand? So it's the exact same as a ukulele, but it sounds completely different. So if you can play the ukulele, you can play this instrument, which is really cool. So can you all just give me a C chord and we'll play a C together. One, get ready. One, two, three, four. Give me four Cs now. One, two, three, four. Four A minors. One, two, three, four. Okay, look, see, A minor. It's the exact same place. Second fret, middle finger. And F would be, yes, same thing as a ukulele, here. And then a C9, or a C major 7 would be there, C9, and that would be your G. So let's play a few tunes together on this. Okay, so maybe you can give me four Cs. One, two, three, four. And four A minors. One, two, three, four. Four A minors, then four Fs without stopping. One, two, three, four. Minors, four Fs, eight Cs, but quicker. Get ready. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, try two times in a row, even quicker. One, two, one, two, three, four. And again. Stop. Lovely. Okay, so let me just play. You can do different sorts of tunes on this, but ultimately you play kind of uh, music from Peru on it. And it kind of sounds a bit like another Irish instrument or an instrument that's played in Ireland a lot called a mandolin. charanga sounds like now so the cool thing about a charanga i guess is that you can play along with the ukulele and it sounds exactly the same it doesn't sound exactly the same but like you know that's a c chord on a ukulele or a charanga and then this is a c chord on a ukulele same thing sounds even similar doesn't it 
sound the same size. Now I know Durango sound might sound a little bit cooler, but they're kind of expensive. But that doesn't mean that you can't get one one day and you can play this. Actually, if you can play your ukulele, you can play this. Even look, check this out. Seven Nation Army. And then on a ukulele, it's the same thing. Same notes. And that melody is called Seven Nation Army. And if you don't know it, it's zero, zero, three, zero. With that ring finger especially, it has to be. And then you lift that everything up a string, three, one, zero. So you're going. Now, rewind the video as much as you want and play that one. On a charanga, it's the same thing. You just go here. play another tune or two how about we play um i'll play my charanga and you play your ukulele and we play counting stars so it's a minor c c9 and f now if you can't if you can do this try and do um a minor c c9 and f and if you can do the c9 really easily do a g instead so you can go Finding even that easy, you can go four strums. And then, if you want to do the melody for it instead, I've got the melody, you just have to learn it. Now, it's very, very difficult, but I'll show you once and you can write it down yourselves. Now, it's all on the A string, remember that's the bottom string there, and you're going five, seven, ten, seven, five, seven, five, three, seven. So that's, use as many fingers as you can. Then it's. So five, five, seven, eight, seven, five, oh, three. No, it's not. Five, five, three, seven, zero, three. I'll play the full thing. You can write it down yourselves and write it. And, um, so here goes. So you can rewind that as much as you want and try and go with that. Now, let's go and let's sing down to stairs. And remember, do four strums if you want. It's up to you. But just make sure you sing nice and loud too. One, two, three, here we go. Lately I've been loving, losing sleep. Dreaming about the things that we could be. But baby, I've been loving, playing hard. Said no more counting dollars. Stars, yeah, we'll be counting stars, and you're counting one, two. I see this light like a swinging vine, swing my heart across the line. In my face is flashing signs, seek it out, and you shall find. Oh, but I'm not that old, young, but I'm not that bold. I don't think a world is sold, I'm just doing what we're told. Everything that drowns me makes me wanna live. 
about the things that we could be But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Yeah, we'll be finished on a minor Lovely Okay, that's great guys, it's really, really good stuff Quick blast of a couple other tunes. So that is called uh, Charanga. It's from Peru. It usually has 10 strings. It's from South America and it's one of the instruments they made. Now, an interesting another little fact is that this shape here is a weird shape for the back of an uh, instrument. So what used to happen was back in the day, unfortunately, it was terrible. They used to make these out of armadillos. So if you've never seen an armadillo, it's this unbelievably cool creature. It has loads of like armor and stuff. So armadillo, maybe look up an armadillo and see what it looks like. Now, thankfully, they make them out of wood now, so that never happens. And then also look up a place called Machu Picchu. It's up on top of a mountain um, in Peru, and it's this crazy, crazy looking place where people used to live a couple of hundred years ago, um, and it's incredible. So it's called Machu Picchu. So look that up. So M-A-C-H-U space P-I-C-C-H-U. I'm not sure if that's the correct spelling, but if you Google that, you'll get it. So... What you've learned today, apart from a couple of little melodies, is you can play this. So if you can play it, the ukulele and your chords on the ukulele, you can play your chords because the exact same tuning as this. So the strings are tuned the exact same way, which is really, really cool. So guys, you're flying. You're doing really, really good. We're going to learn about other instruments as we go on in other times. Now, what will we do? What songs have we got left? We've got loads of songs, but I just can't really remember what they are. No. Oh, here we go. What do you want to do? Riptide? Cup song, wake me up, I don't know, I'm going to pick one at random, okay we'll try, oh we'll try, I don't want to do wake me up actually, no, I might try, it's a great song, I know it's a great song, but, counting stars, getting out of my own cup song, um, let's go for Riptide, now, remember this is a minor and C9 and C and C, now, see that strong pattern, hard to get from A minor to C9, but if you can do it well, swap a C9 for a G if you want. You can go A minor, G, C. And if that seems easy, you can go A minor, minor. That's tough. So A minor, C9, C, C, minor. Okay, let's hear you sing. I was scared. Starting conversations, oh, all my friends are turning green. You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, they come on stuff. Screen. Pronounce it on your own. Close 
closest thing to that you'd ever seen. football chant that goes like this. So listen to that. Zero, zero. Just say that back to me, the letter or the letters. The numbers one, two, three, four, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, oh, five, five, seven, seven, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, oh, five, five, seven, seven. Okay, now pause that and practice it. Tips use your thumb always. Um, index finger for the three. Then move three o oh, five five ring finger for the seven. So pause that, write it down, and let's practice it now together. I'll play the drums though, because I like playing the drums. Okay, one. Two, I will go slower. First one goes zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero. Say that with me. One, two, three, four, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, four, five, five, seven, seven, one, two. Get ready. One, two, three, four, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, three, zero, zero, three, four, five, five. Start again. Zero. Okay, that's the lesson for today guys big finish on a big finish we'll do uh very 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 quick strums so give me four c's quickly one two one two three four good okay stop there now i want to give you chords randomly and you have to strum four times each okay f4 a minor one two three four f one two three four four a minors four f's one two three four Four A minors, four Fs, eight Cs. One, two, three, four. F, C, C. Okay, four A minors, four C major sevens, four C nines, and four Gs. That's four A minors, four C major sevens, four C nines, and four Gs. One, two, three, four. Minor, major seven, C nine, G. Start again now. A minor, C minor seven, C nine. G, get a little bit quicker. A minor, C major seven, C nine, G. One more time. A minor, major seven, C nine. Finish on C. One, two, three, four. Very good. If you got anywhere close to that, that was very, very difficult. I know you couldn't see my face. My my shaved head is starting to grow back now. But I'm going to shave it again. So don't get used to this hair. It's going to be gone again in a couple hours. So guys, what I'm going to do is um just say a fair play to you for turning up and doing this whole lesson i know it's very very difficult if you've got any other suggestions for any of the songs put it in the comments below but just make sure you keep practicing because when we do get back to school we're going to be playing a lot more songs and learning a lot of new songs a lot of new songs a lot of new melodies and a lot of singing so it's great to see you. i hope you enjoyed the lesson 
and also I have a new song out myself it's called A Memory I'll leave the link in below here you can listen to it and follow me on Spotify and make me super famous and I'll bring you all on tour maybe you could be in my band who knows okay guys have a nice day and make sure you're really good for your parents and enjoy playing the ukulele and also you can learn a couple of new songs tell me which ones you want to learn okay talk to you soon bye